Before I let you go, I wanted to ask you one question that the, the community would be upset at me if I didn't ask you. Have you heard about vertiporfin? Would it be something that you'd be open to trying? Yeah, I mean, I've actually thought about doing my own trial. Everyone works on the basis that the, the donor hair at the back and sides is finite, which it is. Um, I think it was Jean Devoir that uh, presented something recently, which, you know, sometimes when you, let's say you have a, a three hair follicular unit graft and you remove two of those follicles and you leave behind one, well, you know, Every now and again, sometimes that that one will recover as a as a two, and that that is hair that has kind of, you know, has come from nowhere because of the I don't know the stem cells that remain in the in the skin, and what I what I'd be really intrigued based on the, I guess the hype around vertiporfin is, you know, is can you improve on that a little bit? Is it possible with the, the healing qualities and the effects on scarring that you know it has an, has an impact on the recovery so uh, you know you, you can with ai you can now look at that in more detail and um yeah i'm very interested in it i haven't really done any taken any steps to research it but um i'm i'm following it with with keen interest yeah i would i would love to get you know some more people on board i know that in the forum it's the largest thread we've ever had it's literally i get lost with so many posts i mean it's like I don't know, 3,000 posts <laughs> on the vertiporfin. It's so many people that are interested in this and it's really global. It's a global effort. If Even if it grows back 20%, that would be huge. That would be, yeah. you know, groundbreaking. The, you know, you could have uh, a staged approach where you do smaller procedures, you know, every couple of years. And if every time there's a small percentage of regrowth then you still end up with a stock of hair, new hair that's come from nowhere, that you have available to you, you know, in your your lifetime availability of graft number that you can use to contribute to their density. So it's very exciting. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm very up for it. And I think also what's interesting in, in this sort of situation, you can potentially use patients as their own control group. So you could take the left side of someone's head and, and apply vertiporfin and not to the right side. And then you can use your um, your AI to look at exactly what's happened to both sides in, in, in incredible detail, analyze it to see what difference there's been, if any. And um, yeah, it's exciting.